Liza Mae Minnelli, born March 12, 1946, is an American actress and singer best known for her portrayal of Sally Bowles in the 1972 musical film Cabaret which won her an Academy Award for Best Actress, the daughter of film actress and singer Judy Garland, 1922-1969, and film director Vincent Minnelli, 1903-1986, Liza Minnelli started her career while in her teens as a musical theater actress and nightclub performer in New York City. In 1965, she made her Broadway debut in the musical Flora the Red Menace and was awarded the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical, at 19, the youngest actress in Broadway history to win the honor, critically lauded for her dramatic performance in the film The Sterile Cuckoo, 1969, she rose to international stardom with Cabaret and the Emmy Award-winning TV special Liza with AZ, 1972. Many of her following film projects got mixed reviews and failed commercially, until the 1981 comedy Arthur, she successfully returned to Broadway stage starring in the musical The Act in 1977. Known today as a pop standard singer, she recorded contemporary singer-songwriter material through the late 1960s and 1970s. Struggling with drug use, Minnelli became one of the first prominent people openly talking about rehab. From the late 1970s on, her work has focused on concert tours and nightclub performances. She gave highly regarded performances at Carnegie Hall in 1979 and 1987, and at Radio City Music Hall in 1991 and 1992. Switching between old-school entertainment and contemporary music in the late 1980s, she both toured Frank, Liza and Sammy, the ultimate event alongside Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. and recorded the pop album results produced by the British duo Pet Shop Boys. Many of her albums are live records. Struggling with viral encephalitis, Minnelli returned with her concert show Lisa's Back in 2002 and made critically acclaimed guest appearances in the sitcom Arrested Development from 2003 to 2013, while continuing to tour internationally and performing Lisa's at the Palace. On Broadway in 2008-2009, Minnelli is considered both an American icon and a gay icon. She has won an Academy Award, being nominated once more, two Golden Globe Awards, one Emmy Award, two Tony Awards, in addition to one Grammy Legend Award and one Special Tony, as well as many other industry and critics awards. In 2000, Minnelli was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame. Early life, Minnelli was born on March 12, 1946 in Hollywood, California, to Vincent Minnelli and Judy Garland. She attended New York City's High School of Performing Arts and Chadwick School. Her first performing experience on film was at age three where she appeared in the final scene of the 1949 musical In the Good Old Summertime. The film starred Garland and Van Johnson. Minnelli has a half-sister, Lorna, and half-brother, Joey, from Garland's marriage to Sid Luft. She also has another half-sister, Christiane Nina Minnelli, nicknamed Tina Nina, from her father's second marriage. Minnelli's godparents were Kay Thompson and Ira Gershwin. Her parents named her after Ira Gershwin's song Liza, All the Clouds Will Roll Away, Career, Theater. During 1961, Minnelli was an apprentice at the Cape Cod Melody Tent, Hyannis, Massachusetts. She appeared in the chorus of Flower Drum Song and played the part of Muriel in Take Me Along. Minnelli began performing professionally at age 17, in 1963, in an off-Broadway revival of the musical Best Foot Forward, for which she received the Theatre World Award. The next year, her mother invited Liza to perform with her in concert at the London Palladium. Both concerts were recorded and released as an album. She attended Scarsdale High School for one year, starring in a production of The Diary of Anne Frank which then went to Israel on tour. She turned to Broadway at 19, and won her first Tony Award as a leading actress for Flora the Red Menace. It was the first time she worked with the musical duo John Kander and Fred Ebb. Music. Minnelli began as a nightclub singer as an adolescent, making her professional nightclub debut at the age of 19 at the Shoreham Hotel in Washington, D.C. That same year she began a appearing in other clubs and on stage in Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami, and New York City. Her success as a live performer led to her recording several albums for Capitol Records, Liza, Liza, 1964, It Amazes Me, 1965, and There Is a Time, 1966. In her early years, she recorded traditional pop standards as well as show tunes from various musicals in which she starred. Because of this fact, William Ruhlman named her Barbara Streisand's little sister. The Capitol album's Liza, Liza, It Amazes me, and There Is A Time were reissued on the two-CD compilation The Capital Years in 2001, in their entirety. From 1968 to the 1970s, she also recorded her albums Liza Minnelli, 1968, Come Saturday Morning and New Feelin', both 1970, for A&M Records. She released The Singer, 1973, and Tropical Nights, 1977, on Columbia Records. In 1989 Minnelli collaborated with Pet Shop Boys on Results, an electronic dance-style album. The release hit the top 10 in the UK and 
also charted in the US, spawning four singles, Losing My Mind, Don't Drop Bombs, So Sorry, I Said, and Love Pains. Initially released on VHS titled Visible Results, the clips were later issued on a bonus DVD included in the 2005 remastered and expanded edition of the album. Later that year she performed Losing My Mind live at the Grammys ceremony before receiving a Grammy Legend Award. The first Grammy Legend Awards were issued in 1990 to Minnelli, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Smokey Robinson, and Willie Nelson. With this award, she became one of only 16 people, in a list that includes composer Richard Rogers, Whoopi Goldberg, Barbara Streisand, and John Gielgud among others, to win an Emmy, Grammy, Tony Award, and Academy Award. In April 1992, Minnelli appeared at the tribute concert to her late friend Freddie Mercury, performing We Are the Champions with the surviving members of the rock band Queen at Wembley Stadium, London. In 1996, Minnelli released a new studio album titled Gently. It was a recording of jazz standards and also included some contemporary songs such as the cover of Does He Love You which she performed as a duet with Donna Summer. This album brought her a Grammy nomination for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Performance. Minnelli was nominated in 2009 for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album for her studio recording Lisa's at the Palace, based on her hit Broadway show. In 2006, Minnelli appeared on My Chemical Romance's album The Black Parade, providing backing vocals and singing a solo part with Gerard Way on the track Mama. In May 2010, Playbill.com reported Minnelli would be releasing an album on the Decca Records label entitled Confessions, which was released on September 21, 2010. Film. Her first appearance on film is as the baby in the very last shot of her mother's film, In the Good Old Summertime, 1949. Her first credited film role was as the love interest in Albert Finney's only film as director and star, Charlie Bubbles, 1967. Although four years earlier, she did voiceover work for the animated film Journey Back to Oz, a sequel to the 1939 MGM film The Wizard of Oz. Minnelli was the voice of Dorothy, a character played in the earlier film by her mother Judy Garland, in what would have been her first major role had it been released as originally scheduled in 1964. The filmation production took eight years to finish due to financial difficulties and would ultimately be released between 1972 and 1974. In 1969 she appeared in Alan J. Pakula's first feature film, The Sterile Cuckoo, 1969, as Pookie Adams, a needy, eccentric teenager. Her performance won her her first Academy Award nomination. She played another eccentric character the following year in Tell Me That You Love Me, Junie Moon, directed by Otto Preminger. In 1972, Minnelli appeared in perhaps her best-known film role, as Sally Bowles in the movie version of Cabaret. She said that one of the things she did to prepare was to study photographs of classic actresses Louise Glom and Louise Brooks and the dark-haired ladies of that time. Minnelli won the Academy Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role for her performance, along with a Golden Globe Award a BAFTA Award, and also a San Jordi Award and a David D. Donatello Award for Best Foreign Actress. Following the success of Cabaret, Bob Fosse and Minnelli teamed up for Liza with a Z, a concert for television, a made-for-television special. The program aired two times on TV and was not seen again until a DVD release in 2006. Minnelli worked with her father in the 1976 A Matter of Time co-starring Ingrid Bergman. After severe editing and cutting, done by the studio, with no input from Vincent, the film was neither a commercial nor a critical success. Her appearance opposite Robert De Niro in the 1977 musical drama film, New York, New York, however, gave Minnelli her best-known signature song. Frank Sinatra released a successful cover version, for his trilogy, Past Present Future album, two years later and used it as his signature song as well, sometimes even duetting with Minnelli live on stage. After her performance as leading woman to Dudley Moore in 1981's hit film Arthur, Minnelli made fewer film appearances although she returned to the big screen in 1988 for Arthur II, On the Rocks and in 1991 for Stepping Out, a musical dramedy. Most recently she made an appearance in the movie Sex and the City 2, 2010, as herself. Television. During the early days of television in the 1950s Minnelli appeared as a child guest on Art Linkletter's show and in 1959 sang and danced with Gene Kelly on his first television special. She was a guest star in one episode of the popular Ben Casey television series starring Vince Edwards and was a frequent guest on chat shows of the day including numerous appearances on shows hosted by Jack Parr, Merv Griffin, Mike Douglas, Joe Franklin, Dinah Shore and Johnny Carson. During the 
series she made several guest appearances on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In as well as other variety shows including The Ed Sullivan Show, The Muppet Show, The Hollywood Palace, as well as The Judy Garland Show. In 1964 she appeared as Minnie in her first television dramatic role in the episode Nightingale for Sale on Craig Stevens's short-lived CBS series, Mr. Broadway. Recently, Minnelli has made guest appearances on such shows as Arrested Development, Law and Order, Criminal Intent and Drop Dead Diva. In the UK she has appeared on the Ruby Wax, Graham Norton and Jonathan Ross shows and in October 2006 participated in a comedy skit on the Charlotte Church show and was featured on the Michael Parkinson show. Set to be a guest judge on Australian Idol 2009 on the October 18, 2009, she appeared on the Joy Behar show of September 1, 2010. In November 2009, American Public Television aired Lisa's at the Palace, taped from September 30, October 1, 2009 in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand's Hollywood Theater. The executive producers of the taping, Craig Zayden and Neil Marin, previously were involved with the 2005 re-release of 1972's Emmy Award and Peabody Award winning Liza with a Z. In 2013 she made guest appearance in the NBC series Smash. She sang a special song accompanied by character Tom to rising Broadway star Ivy Lynn. Later career, she returned to Broadway in 1997, taking over the title role in the musical Victor, Victoria, replacing Julie Andrews. In his review, New York Times critic Ben Brandley commented, her every stage appearance is perceived as a victory of show business business stamina over psychic frailty. She asks for love so nakedly and earnestly, it seems downright vicious not to respond. In 1995 Minnelli and longtime collaborator Billy Stritch recorded a number of American standards unplugged, and were coveted by many to be the holy grail of Minnelli's career, showing a sultrier and softer, more interpretive side to her artistry. The songs were later released in 2010, making the album Confessions. After a serious case of viral encephalitis in 2000, doctors predicted that she would spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair and would perhaps not even be able to speak again. However, taking vocal and dance lessons daily, most notably with Sam Harris, Ron Lewis, and Angela Bicari, she managed to recover. She returned to the stage in 2001 when asked by longtime friend Michael Jackson to perform at Madison Square Garden in New York City where she sang Never Never Land in the televised You Are Not Alone at the Michael Jackson 30th Anniversary Special Concert produced by soon-to-be husband David Jest. Minnelli told reporters, I am stable as a table. Jest was so impressed with her stamina and ability to stun audiences that he produced her in Lisa's back in spring 2002 performing to rave reviews in London and New York City. Most noted in that tour was a tribute to her mother. After years of declining fans pleas for her to sing Garland's signature song, Over the Rainbow, she concluded Act 1 with the final refrain of her mother's famous anthem, to an instant ovation. Among performing her classic hits, other numbers unreleased in the album version included I Believe You by The Carpenters, a rap version of Liza with a Z, Yes, and Mary J. Blige's Family Affair, 2001. VH1 signed on Minnelli and Jest in 2002 to appear in a reality show entitled Liza and David. The pilot episode was filmed following the couple around as they prepared for a party at their home, with a guest list including Ray Charles, Luther Vandross, Isaac Mizrahi, Anastasia, among many others. The show was cancelled shortly after the pilot episode was filmed due to a dispute between Jest, Minnelli and VH1, and never aired. Recordings of the pilot episode still exist. In 2004 and 2000 2005 she appeared as a recurring character on the critically acclaimed, Emmy Award-winning TV sitcom Arrested Development as Lucille Ostero, the lover of both the sexually and socially awkward Buster Bluth and Buster's brother Gob. In September 2006, she made a guest appearance on the long-running NBC drama Law & Order, Criminal Intent, in Masquerade, a Halloween-themed episode, broadcast on Tuesday, October 31, 2006. She also completed guest vocals on My Chemical Romance's 2006 concept album The Black Parade, portraying Mother War, a dark conception of the main character's mother, in the song Mama. For years, Minnelli had wanted to record a collection of songs that her godmother Kay Thompson had performed in her nightclub act. In 2007, she added some of Thompson's songs to her latest tour to introduce them to audiences. Minnelli returned to Broadway in a new solo concert at the Palace Theatre called Lisa's at the Palace, which ran from December 3, 2008, through January 4, 2009. In her second act she performed a series of numbers created by Kay Thompson. The reviews noted that while her voice was ragged at times, and her movements no longer elastic, the old magic was still very much present. From first to last, Minnelli had audiences cheering and applauding and begging for more. The show was subsequently staged at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas on September 30 and October 1, 2009, at which time it was filmed for broadcast on public television in a February 2010 DVD and Blu-ray release. On January 10, 2009, Minnelli made a rare live TV appearance in a surprise cameo on 
on NBC's Saturday Night Live, playing the best friend of Penelope, Kristen Wiig. On January 26, 2009, she made an appearance on The View, singing I Would Never Leave You, written by Johnny Rogers, Billy Stritch, and Brian Lane Green, from her new CD Lisa's at the Palace. She was also interviewed by the cast of The View. She was a character in the Australian musical The Boy From Oz starring Hugh Jackman. In the show's Broadway production, she was portrayed by Stephanie J. Block. In October 2009, Minnelli toured Australia, and appeared on Australian Idol as a mentor and guest judge. In February 2010, Minnelli appeared in a Snickers commercial along with Aretha Franklin and Betty White. Minnelli made a cameo appearance in the May 2010 release of Sex and the City 2, in which she covered Beyoncé's hit single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, and Cole Porter's Every Time We Say Goodbye. She also made a starring appearance in December 2010 in NBC's The Apprentice. On June 14, 2012 Liza headlined at Hampton Court Palace Festival, an annual event which takes place at Hampton Court Palace in Surrey, England. In 2013, Liza returned as Lucille Ostero for Season 4 of Arrested Development. On May 9, 2014, Minnelli had a guest appearance on Cher's Dress to Kill Tour in Brooklyn, performing Girls Just Want to Have Fun alongside Cindy Lauper and Rosie O'Donnell. On July 24, 2015, Minnelli will perform at the IP Casino Resort and Spa, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the closing of Flora the Red Menace. Personal life. Minnelli speaks fluent French. Minnelli has long suffered from alcoholism, and has been addicted to prescription drugs, originating from a Valium prescription after her mother's death. Minnelli left her 1984 musical The Rink to enter the Betty Ford Clinic. Her use of recreational drugs in the 1970s was noted by Andy Warhol, who in a 1978 diary entry recalled Minnelli arriving at Halston's house and imploring the host to give me every drug you've got. Along with Warhol and Bianca Jagger, Minnelli made frequent appearances at New York. York City nightclubs during the late 1970s. Marriages. Minnelli has been married, and divorced, four times. Her first marriage was to entertainer Peter Allen on March 3, 1967. Australian-born Allen was Judy Garland's protege in the mid-1960s. They divorced on July 24, 1974. Minnelli told the Advocates editor-in-chief, Judy Weider in September 1996, I married Peter and he didn't tell me he was gay. Everyone knew but me. And I found out, well, let me put it this way, I'll never surprise anybody coming home as long as I live. I call first. Later that year, she married Jack Haley, Jr., a producer and director, on September 15, 1974. His father, Jack Haley, was Garland's co-star in The Wizard of Oz. They divorced in April 1979. Then, Minnelli was married to Mark Jarrow, a sculptor and stage manager, from December 4, 1979 until their divorce in January 1992. After that she was married to David Jest, a concert promoter, from March 16, 2002, until the they divorced in April 2007. They separated in July 2003. In a 2003 lawsuit, Jest alleged that Minnelli beat him in alcohol-induced rages during their marriage. Minnelli's attorneys said Jess tried to isolate the singer from her three siblings, Christy Ann Minnelli, Lorna and Joey Luft. Minnelli also had relationships with Rock Brinner, Daisy Arnaz, Jr., Peter Sellers, and Martin Scorsese. Minnelli has no children. One pregnancy left her with a hiatal hernia as a result of the medical steps taken to try to save the baby. Philanthropy. Minnelli has, throughout her lifetime, served various charities and causes which she considers very important. She served on the board of directors of the Institutes for the Achievement of Human Potential, IAHP, for 20 years, a non-profit educational organization that introduces parents to the field of child brain development. In a 2006 interview with Randy Rice at BroadwayWorld.com Minnelli said that she was the person who told Elizabeth Taylor about HIV, AIDS while talking about their mutual friend, Rock Hudson. She has also dedicated much time to AMFAR, the Foundation for AIDS Research, which was co-founded by Taylor. In 2007, she stated in an interview with Palm Springs Life magazine, AMFAR is important to me because I've lost so many friends that I knew AIDS. In 1994, she recorded the Candor and Neptune the day after that and donated the proceeds to AIDS Research. That same year she performed the song in front of thousands in Central Park at the 25th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. Filmography. Cinema. Television. 1963. The Judy Garland Christmas Show. 1965. The Dangerous Christmas of Red Riding Hood. 1979. The Muppet Show. Season 4. 1984. The Princess and the Pea. Episode of the television anthology Fairy Tale Theater. 1985. A Time to Live. 1988. Sam Found Out. A Triple Play. 1994. 
Parallel Lives, 1995, The West Side Waltz, 2003-05, 2013, Arrested Development as Lucille 2, 2009, Drop Dead Diva, 2013, Smash the Surprise Party S2 F10, Specials, 1964, Judy and Liza at the Palladium, with Judy Garland, 1970, Liza, 1972, Liza with AZ, A Concert for Television, 1974, Love from A to Z, with Charles Aznavour, 1980, Goldie and Liza Together, with Goldie Hawn, 1980, An Evening with Liza Minnelli, 1986, Liza in London, 1987, Minnelli on Minnelli, Liza Remembers Vincent, Documentary, 1989, Frank, Liza and Sammy, The Ultimate Event, with Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis, Jr., 1992, Liza Live from Radio City Music Hall, 1993, Liza and Friends, A Tribute to Sammy Davis, Jr., with Charles Aznavour, Tom Jones, Jerry Lewis, and Cliff Richard, Discography, Stage Productions, 1961, Wish You Were Here, Hyannis, Massachusetts, 1961, Take Me Along, Hyannis, Massachusetts, 1961, Flower Drum Song, Hyannis, Massachusetts, 1961-62, The Diary of Anne Frank, 1961-1962, Tour, Scarsdale High School, Scarsdale, NY, 1963, Best Foot Forward, Off-Broadway, 1964, Carnival, Paper Mill Playhouse, 1964, Time Out for Ginger, Bucks County Playhouse, 1964, The Fantastics, Tour, 1965, Floor of the Red Menace, Broadway, 1966, The Pajama Game, Tour, 1974, Liza, One Woman Show, Broadway, 1975, Chicago, Replacement for Gwen Verdon, Broadway, 1977-78, The Act, Broadway, 1978, Are You Now or Have You Ever Been, Guest Appearance, Off-Broadway, 1978-79, The Owl and the Pussycat, Martha Graham Ballet, London and Lincoln Center, New York City, 1983, By Myself, One Woman Show, Los Angeles and London, 1984, The Rink, Broadway, 1994, Love Letters, Coconut Grove Playhouse, Miami, 1997, Victor, Victoria, Vacation Replacement for Julie Andrews, Broadway, 1999-00, Minnelli on Minnelli, Live at the Palace, Concert Show, Broadway, Palace Theatre, 2002, Lisa's Back, Concert Show, New York and London, 2008-9, Lisa's at the Palace, Concert Show, Broadway, Palace Theatre, Awards and Hannas, Film Awards, Academy Awards, 1970, Nominated, Best Actress in a Leading Role, The Sterile Cuckoo, 1973, Won, Best Actress in a Leading Role, Cabaret, It is thought that Minnelli is the only actress with the distinction of being an Academy Award winner whose parents were both Academy Award winners, however Judy Garland never won a competitive Oscar, although her father won Best Director for Gigi, her mother received an honorary juvenile Oscar for her outstanding performance as a screen juvenile for the previous year, it was given to her at the 1940 Academy Awards for her performances in 1939 including The Wizard of Oz and Babes in Arms, British Academy of Film and Television Arts, 1971, nominated, film most promising newcomer to leading film roles, The Sterile Cuckoo, 1973, won, Best Actress, Cabaret, Golden Globe Awards, 1970, nominated, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Drama, The Sterile Cuckoo, 1973, won, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, Cabaret, 1976, nominated, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, Lucky Lady, 1978, nominated, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, New York, New York, 1982, nominated, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, Arthur, Golden Raspberry Awards, 1988, won Worst Actress, Arthur II, on The Rocks and Rent a Cop, 2010, nominated, Worst Supporting Actress, Sex and the City 2, Television Awards, Emmy Awards, 1973, 1, Outstanding Single Program, Variety and Popular Music, Liza with A, Z, A Concert for Television, 1973, Nominated, Outstanding Achievement by a Supporting Performer in a Variety Show or a Special, A Royal Gala Variety Performance, 1980, Nominated, Outstanding Variety or Music Program, Goldie and Liza Together, 1987, Nominated, Outstanding Informational Special, Minnelli on Minnelli, Liza Remembers Vincent, 1993, Nominated, Outstanding Outstanding individual performance in a variety or music program, Liza Live from Radio City Music Hall, Golden Globe Awards, 1986, won, Best Actress in a Miniseries or Motion Picture Made for Television, A Time to Live, Screen Actors Guild Awards, 2013, nominated, Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series, Arrested 
Development, Recording Awards, Grammy Awards, 1997, Nominated, Best Traditional Pop Vocal Performance, Gently, 2010, Nominated, Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album, Lisa's at the Palace, Grammy Hall of Fame Award, 2008, Inducted, Cabaret, Original Soundtrack Recording, Grammy Living Legend Award, 1991, Grammy Living Legend Award for Contributions and Influence in the Recording Field, Stage Awards, Drama Desk Awards, 1984, Nominated, Outstanding Actress in a Musical, The Rink, 2009, Won, Drama Desk Special Award for her role as a beloved American musical theater icon, for her enduring career of sustained excellence, and her glorious performance in Lisa's at the Palace, Independent Theater Reviewers Association, 2009, Won, Best Female Theatrical Performance, Lisa's at the Palace, Theater World Award, 1963, 1, Outstanding Off-Broadway Debut, Best Foot Forward, Tony Awards, 1965, 1, Best Leading Actress in a Musical, Flora the Red Menace, 1974, 1, Special Tony Award for Liza at the Winter Garden, 1978, 1, Best Leading Actress in a Musical, The Act, 1984, Nominated, Best Leading Actress in a Musical, The Rink, The Show Liza's at the Palace, itself won the Tony Award for Best Special Theatrical Event in 2009, Miscellaneous Hanas, Hasty Pudding The Trickles, 1973, Hasty Pudding Woman of the Year, Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, 2005, Vanguard Award, for her contributions to increased visibility and understanding of the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender, LGBT, community, Mercy College, New York, 2007, honorary doctorate, for her charitable activities and a career that has spanned five decades and multiple genres, parents, families and friends of lesbians and gays, 2010, straight for equality and entertainment award, for her lifelong support of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, LGBT, people, Stamford Center for the Arts, Palace Theatre, 2012, Arts Legacy Award, 2012, Fred and Adela Stare Awards, Douglas Watt Lifetime Achievement Award, Ride of Fame, 2011, The Ride of Fame honored Minnelli by dedicating a double-decker tour bus to her life's work in New York City. Other appearances, Minnelli appears in the song Mama on the My Chemical Romance album The Black Parade. She added her vocals to the song from a separate studio while members of the band listened via satellite. The Mountain Goat song Liza Forever Minnelli references Liza and her relationship with her parents.